Hi, today I'm going to make a 3D scan of this keycap. It's the classic profile keycap called SA Profile. Uh, originally, it was uh, made by Signature Plastic in uh, 1970. After made a 3D scan, I will uh, reverse this in uh, Autodesk Inventor. And during the reversing process, uh, you will see that how the people in 1970 made this design. It has a variable fillet. The curve, the fillet here has a larger radius than the bottom here, and it looks like that it can be reversed by using solid modeling because uh, back in the day there was no surface modeling, so um, everything should be in the same plane except for uh, the top part here that they probably use the spherical to cut curve in both directions. See here, it's also curve. This direction is also curved, so it will fit the profiles of the fingertips when you press it. This is very ergonomic keycap, and I really like it. In the bottom, it has a revised Shirley MX stem. I will also include this one in the reversing. This uh, keycap is made from a PBT, one kind of uh, durable plastic, and they do a double shot. The first shot is the white color and the second shot is the green color but for this video I will just draw in as one single shot materials so this will be a good example for practicing uh, reverse engineering this is a medium difficulty for reverse uh, this object is very small I have tried using other scanner like uh, Clarity Scan Laptop, Clarity Scan Author, but uh, the result is it's not so uh, highly detailed. So in this uh, video, I will use the Matter and Form 3. I find that it gives the best result, and I will make a comparison at the end of the video. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> we're scanning small items, so we're not going to use the large uh, calibration board turn table uh, this calibration board is not for calibrating the 3d scanner it's for locating the position of the turntable scanner so this scanner has the computer built in you can land the 3d scan uh, by using an old uh, tablet old ipad lock into the uh, scanner with a browser and it will process everything inside of the scanner so if you have land a business that you need someone to make a 3d scan for you like for example a dental clinic you can just uh, leave this setup on the table and you can pull out the information of the scan data uh, from your office wirelessly this device is connect to a, your tablet by using your local home network so you can be in a different location to access the uh, scan data from this uh, 3d scanner After you turn on, it will uh, automatically connect to the uh, your home Wi-Fi network. Use any browser from any computer in your house or tablet to start the scan. Okay, one thing to note that this structure right this scanner is not very good at uh, scanning a deep pocket and reverse. So I need to start some clay inside here. So I just need the location of the stem so that I can reverse it. So uh, we are ready for making a 3D scan. After you turn on the scanner, just type in the matterandform.local in your browser. If you are using a PC, you need to use a Chrome browser. Going to uh, create a new project. So I will start the scan. I will raise it up a bit using a clay. I, I will make uh, two scans. First, I scan in top and then I scan in the bottom and then I merge them. Because I need a lot of detail, so I will move the scanner closer, as close as possible. Okay, and I will turn it just a bit, so that it will be in the center. I will move the focus point to the object, and then I will adjust the exposure. You can see here, it's uh, quite bright, so the first setting is correct. Then I'm going to make a high scan density and then i will use a six scan in one rotation next i will need to calibrate the turntable click next confirm and then i have to uh, place the calibration board on the turntable you can see that and start the calibration process
Okay, next I will start the scan. Okay, here's the scan with the color. So I will remove the clay underneath by using a lasso tools. Select the clay and delete it. And if I turn off the texture, you can see that uh, all the point clouds align perfectly without any uh, tracking marker. We have a sixth scan here. Okay, next I will make a second scan. Flip this over. Okay, it's the second scan. I turn off the first one and then I will um, delete the clay. Now we have a complete match and the location of the stem. I will choose a big point merging. Um, first turntable, second turntable. Let's turn on the texture. One, two, three, and four. Sit on a line. Okay, now it's uh, aligned perfectly. Okay, let's uh, merge the scan. I mesh it. Next, I will remesh it. Uh, with Math Tree, I can't uh, remesh more than 1 million polygons, uh, probably because of the memory. It has only 4 gigabytes of the memory. So, if I remesh more than 1 million polygons, it will crash. So, I will just use the, um, uh, a bit less than 1 million. Click here, simplify and convert. It will take about 6 7 minutes to do. Here's the result with the remesh and I will add this to the project because um, I don't need the color and if I need the color I click here the texture and it will put the texture back into the model. This will be used for illustration uh, at the end of the video. So I will put here clicking again add to the project. This will be a second model. So we have uh, two models here. The download files are in uh, zip format. The, uh, with the color one, this will come with the uh, texture color. Uh, this is cloud compare. Because uh, math tree cannot export the point cloud, it can only export mesh. But I need to use the point cloud. So I will uh, convert uh, it to the point cloud in the uh, cloud compare. Click on here. I click on edit uh, mesh and sample points. Now I will sample the point to a 1 million point. Now if I uh, delete the mesh, I can see the point cloud. I will um, change the color to a bright color. As you can see that it's not aligned because uh, I put it on the clay. I will align this keycap uh, to the XY plane. There are 6 degrees of freedom. You need to align at least um, one flat plane to the XY plane so that uh, you can start reversing uh, a lot easier. I click on menu on the left, uh, click on three point one, two, three. So this three point will be aligned to the XY plane on the side view. This plane is aligned to the XY plane, but it's upside down. So I will flip it. The way I flip it is I click on here, the upper menu here, translate and rotate. I'm going to rotate it on the Y axis. Click on add one step. I click on 180 degrees forward. If you look at the lower right corner, you see that the C axis is up. I click on the check mark here. Now it's um, in the XY plane. If you are going to use um, Rhino or SolidWorks, you can export as the um, ASC format and you can open that directly but uh, I'm going to use the Autodesk Inventor I need to save it in the LAS format and then I have to convert it into the RCP format using um, Recap I drag the files that I exported from Crowd Compare to here okay here's the keycap next I'm going to uh, reposition the origin update origin point I choose here so this will be a zero 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 Next, I'm going to save it. Okay, now I'm in the Autodex Inventor. Attach point cloud that we just create. Cloud is here. And insert at origin. I need to uh, rescale it. 0 0.001. The center point is here. And the keycap is here. So I'm going to draw. Create a new sketch on the uh, XY plane. And I'm going to draw a circle that will match the circle of the center of the keycap. And next, I'm going to uh, measure the center point here to the origin point. See, we have uh, X position and Y position, right? 
the center of the stem is moved to the uh, zero zero coordinates. Okay, I'm going to create a new part, cap three, a rectangle. Actually, it's square. Okay, and I move it here. Okay, this is eighteen millimeter. I already know that, so it's a uh, measure eighteen point zero three five, which is very accurate. Divide by two. Now, um, the keycap is in the center. Okay, next I'm going to create a um, box. 10.5 millimeters clear color see that top of the keycap was cut by sphere create a new sketch xc plane which is in the center cut edge and next i'm going to draw an arc it's a purple line here um 43 so now we have a profile to sweep cut and make the top of the keycap uh, to sweep, you need to make an axis for sweeping. So I'm going to draw um, a horizontal line for sweeping. Uh, next, I'm going to use the swivel command, not sweeping, revolve command. I'm going to cut with this profile and I'm going to use this axis um, to do the cut. Okay, so I cut it. Now we have, uh, we have cut the top of the keycap. Move the curb. Box club. So now I have a uh, crop the point clouds. And now we make a cut. So I'm gonna cut uh, in a straight line. Okay, now we have a um, SA profile. Variable radius fillet. The bottom is 1.2, if I can remember. Yeah, and the top is 2. So next I'm going to make a small fillet in the top. Point three. Uh, next, I'm going to make a shell. Yeah, you can see here. It's about 1.4. Yeah, it's about 1.4. Now it's matching, right? And I'm going to remove the face, which is the bottom face here. Click OK. I will, uh, I will make a plane. Move it down about 1.5 millimeters. Click OK. It's about 5.6 uh, to the plane here. The stem is too low. I'm going to move it negative 1.1. That's about right. Next, I'm going to cut the slot here. Uh, the size is 4.1 by 1.17. 1. Cut. Five. Cut 5 millimeters. And I need to do a fillet. 0 0.3 millimeters and 4 okay here is our reverse keycap that will be fit into um, Shure MX switch okay let's uh, compare the scanning result with the other scanner the MAF3 gave uh, almost 1 million points and the Lapter uh, output about uh, 250,000 points the MAF3 gives the best uh, sharpness on the corner and when I align, I notice that there is a misalignment here. You can see in this side of the wall and also uh, in the back here. There is only one way to merge the, um, this keycap with the laptop and the author is by using um, align with the marker. But it doesn't do, um, I mean, perfect alignment. But with the, um, with the MAF3, there is no issue with the alignment at all and all the corner give a sharp and seamless i don't see any seam line and also there is a marker removal the software didn't remove all of the marker and it's some left over here the surface of the keycap on the laptop is quite uh, rough and if you look at the um, author you can see that author give a uh, softest result i mean with the least amount of um, point cloud but the surface is a uh, very smooth uh, smoothest surface among the three but uh, if you look at the seam line here as usual it has a visible seam line from the lower position and if you look at the underside of the keycap you can see that the wall thickness uh, from the author is much thinner than the one from the laptop See the MAF3, you can clearly see that this is a double shot keycap it has separate uh, layer, quite obvious. On the laptop, um, that line is not shown here. 
Okay, other than that, the Math 3 can output the texture uh, with high accuracy is a number 3, which is a very small letter. The output of the number is, is very accurate, but uh, the color tone uh, need uh, repairing, but it can be fixed very easy. Thanks you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.